उन the exercise number wherever wherever you find any difficulty just write the exercise number and your question number and done you will get your answer okay so the question is this expand each of the following using suitable identities now if i look at all of these you just need to understand one part very simple thing that is a plus b plus c whole square okay no need to remember different things just remember this a plus b plus c whole square it is equal to a square plus b square plus c square plus 2ab plus 2bc plus 2ac theek okay, hai this is the part this is the identity which will be used everywhere okay now the first one as you can see is very easy x plus 2y plus 4z whole square so i can write it as it will be x square plus 2y whole square Plus 4z whole square plus 2 into x into 2y 2ab plus 2 into bc. So 2y into 4z plus 2 into ac x into 4z. Right. So it will be equal to x square. 2y whole square is 4y square plus 16z square. 4z whole square is 16z square. Now 2 into 2 is 4. X into y is 4xy. 2 into 2 is 4. Into 4 is 16. Y is z. Plus 2 into 4 is 8xz. So this will be the expansion for the first one. This will be the expansion for the first one. Now for the second one, understand this part. If you understand all the questions, you will be able to understand very easily. 2x minus y plus z whole square. Write it as the you number know, 2x minus y. Write it as plus of minus y plus z whole square. So now it is again a plus b plus c whole square, where a is 2x, b is minus y, c is z. So it will be equal to a square. So 2x whole square plus minus y whole square plus z whole square. Plus two into two x into minus y, plus two into minus y into z, plus two into two x into z, right? So it will be equal to four x square. Now minus y whole square is again y square only. Negative into negative will become positive. Plus z square. Now two into two is four, and since there is negative, so positive into negative will become negative. So minus four x y. 2 into minus y into z will become minus 2 yz, and 2 into 2x, so 2 into 2 is 4 into xz is plus 4 xz. Directly, same identity will give you the answer for all the parts over here. Same identity will give you answer for everything. If you look at the third one, third one is minus 2x plus 3y plus 2z whole square. So write minus 2x in the bracket. Plus 3y plus 2z whole square. So it will be equal to minus 2x whole square plus 3y whole square plus 2z whole square plus 2 into minus 2x 3y 2ab plus 2 into bc. So 3y into 2z plus 2ac. So 2 into minus 2x into 2z. Right, so it will be negative into negative is positive, so 4x square plus 9y square plus 2z whole square is 4z square. Now 2 into 2 is 4 into 3 is 12, but since negative is there, minus 12xy. 2 into 3 is 4, 4 sorry, 2 into 3 is 6, 6 2 12, is 12, है ना? So plus 12yz because everything is positive. 2 into 2 is minus 4 into 2. Is minus eight, so it will be minus eight x z. So only thing you will see if there is something negative, just write it with that negative 
with the number and convert it in the form of a plus b plus c whole square you will get your answer <coughs> you will always get your answer okay next one they go fourth one 3a minus 7b minus c whole square so this i can write as listen carefully this i can write as 3a okay plus minus 7b given minus given to 7b plus minus c okay and it's whole square so again it is a plus b plus c whole square so it will be equal to a square that is 3a whole square plus b square that is minus 7b whole square plus c square that is minus 7c whole square plus 2ab so 3a into minus 7b plus 2bc so 2 into minus 7b into minus c plus 2ac so 2 into 3a into minus c so it will be equal to 9a square negative number square is positive only so plus 49b square minus c whole square will be plus c square Ab dekho. 2 into 3 is 6 3 to the 6 6 into minus 7 is minus 42 ab 2 into minus 7 is minus 14 bc minus 14 bc and 2 into oh sorry 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 i have made a mistake here over here there is a mistake it is minus 7b into minus c so negative into negative will become positive so it will be 2 into 7 plus 14 bc and 2 into 3 is 6 into minus c is minus 6 a c got it so this is how you will get your fourth one fifth part if you look carefully fifth one it is minus 2x plus 5y minus 3z whole square so it will be equal to write it as minus 2x plus 5y plus minus 3z whole square give negative to the number give the negative to the number so that you can write it in the form of a plus b plus c whole square <coughs> right so it is this whole square again a plus b plus c whole square so it will be minus 2x whole square plus 5y whole square plus minus 3z whole square plus 2ab so minus 2x into 5y plus 2bc so 5y into minus 3z plus 2ac so 2 into minus 2x into minus 3z right so it will be equal to 4x square negative number square is positive only okay so let me write it some over here 4x square 5y whole square is 25y square minus 3z whole square is plus 9z square 2 into minus 2 into 5 that is equal to minus 20xy 2 into 5 into minus 3 that is equal to minus 30yz and 2 into minus 2 into minus 3 so negative into negative will become positive it is 12xz it is what 12xz right similarly the last one the sixth one is a by 4 minus b by 2 plus 1 whole square so i can write it as a by 4 plus minus b by 2 plus 1 whole square so it will be a by 4 whole square plus minus b by 2 whole square plus 1 whole square plus 2 into a by 4 into minus b by 2 plus 2 into minus b by 2 into 1 plus 2 into a by 4 into 1 so it will be a square by 16 plus b square by 4 plus 1. Now see this 2 to this 2 got cancelled. So minus a b by 4. <coughs> this 2 to this 2 got cancelled. So minus b and 2 1s are 2 2s are. So plus a by 2. Plus a by 2. So this is how all these parts will be solved. Once a single identity using a single identity we have solved all this part this is the best way to solve these kind of questions don't remember all the identities for the negative one you will be confused nothing else you will all will get confused nothing else so this is it in today's class i hope all of you enjoyed it also 
those students who want to register for Vedantu subscription, the link is given in the description box as well as it will be the pinned comment in the comment section. Once you go to that link, okay, it is not GP Pro, GP Pro. Once you go to that link, you will be having an option to choose for one month, three months or six months. The subscription, you can choose for one month, three months or six months. After that, you can choose any one of it. Before going for proceed to pay here in the add to coupon code, don't forget to write GP Pro. This will help you to get an instant discount of 20%. This discount is available. This code is applicable for one month, for three months, as well as for six months. And also, these prices are not only for maths. These are for maths, physics, chemistry, biology, SST, and English. Got it? So all the six subjects at one place, you will be amazed with the teaching here. Got it, beta? So the link in the description box as well as in the comment section and the coupon code is GP Pro. Got it? So thank you so much, Bacho. I hope all of you enjoyed this class and your doubts are solved. And I hope all of you are now out of the burden of remembering many identities because many students will feel ki, sir, A plus B plus C, A minus B plus C, A minus B minus C. How or do I remember so many identities? So no need to remember only one identity will give you all the answers. Got it? So thank you so much, Bacho. This is all from my side in today's class and I'll see you soon in some other class with the next topic in the NCRT series. Till then, bye-bye. Sayonara, Khuda Hafiz. To all of you, I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.